Hey, welcome back people. Chad here with a layout update. I know it's been a while. A little bit of progress done on the layout, not much, but uh, trying to get things done before a last Saturday op session here coming up in September. Uh, so I'm getting little things done here and there and just kind of trying to dress things up a little bit. One of the main projects I've been working on throughout the layout are these roads. Um, I put that one in and I started this one. Need to finish going all the way back with it yet. Um, in this area here, plus I did some landscaping with some static grass, ground foam, and other areas here. Still need to finish it off over through here. Uh, I'm also going to be putting in a track that connects to that track there. So it's another little passing siding with a switch that goes off to a uh, fertilizer shed, I guess you could call it, right back here where the truck is upside down. Um, so then this area, besides wiring the rest of the tracks here, will be complete. I uh, just need to landscape it. I had this building sitting here. I'm going to do a sheet of this. It's called Silly Winks. You get it at Hobby Lobby. And I just measure and cut it to the road length that I need. It comes in black and gray. And then the stripes, of course, are from Highways and Byways and John Howard. So uh, thank you, John, for your uh, product. Great product for making striping easy on these roads and stuff like that. But I'm going to take a big sheet of that Silly Winks, put it down here for a parking lot. Basically from this concrete barrier, this whole area here will be concrete for this uh, auto body shop uh, area there. Still need to build another building here. I'm going to make two central beverage kits into one cold storage building for this area. That's why I kind of got the roof laying behind it so I know how long it's going to be. Uh, back there is going to be my salvage yard as uh, talked about before just need to finish up over here detailing things uh, of course you got a lumber rece receiving facility a warehouse small little warehouse that receives box cars you got one peeking around the corner there then you got your propane terminal and plastic pellet area moving on other ways other areas around the layout here uh, nothing much has changed in this general direction. I did start doing a little bit of ballasting over here in the yard to get things ready to go. Uh, nowhere near complete yet on that. Uh, coming around this way, nothing much has changed. This is the area I've been working on the last couple of days. Uh, this is my peninsula, and I finally agreed on, or finally came to a resolution on what I'm going to be doing. I got to thank my buddy Mike Christensen for helping out with some ideas and coming down here and helping me work it. Uh, this side of the peninsula is going to be a small rail car repair facility. Uh, as you can see here, I took two Walther's kits of the modern diesel engine facility and put them together. I'm going to have a building here that will also take cars in. I've got to wire these tracks. So these will be the two repair tracks. And then every any car that's done is going to be put out on this track. I started doing some work over here. I did, as you can see, some landscaping there. Put a road in here. Uh, this area I had trouble trying to figure out what I was going to put and asked for some suggestions from some buddies. And Craig and Mike and Scott all kind of chimed in and uh, said put a little neighborhood. Uh, one said kind of a rundown neighborhood. The other one, you know, said... Uh, put in a residential neighborhood. So I think it's gonna be a combination of both if I can make it work, have a couple of rundown houses and some nicer houses. Uh, I've been looking for a fire station to be put in here and I believe that's where it's gonna go. I'm just gonna have a residential street come all the way out here and connect and then I'm gonna have a big privacy fence going along the back there and have at least four to five houses hopefully in this general area and some driveways and stuff. That's the tentative plan. Of course, I don't have anything set in stone, and things change quite frequently, so we will see. Over here will be a terminal that receives tank cars of gasoline products, not an ethanol, but just basically somewhere to put my tank cars. I'll have some loading racks here, a big uh, cylindrical uh, tank here that uh, I will have trucks coming in and loading and unloading. Speaking of the trucks, there's the four trucks that will come across the tracks, come over here, load up, and then 
exit that way through that road there. So waiting for the tank to show up and then I will finish detailing the rest of this area. Uh, over here is going to be a transloading area. As you can see, I've got a boxcar staged and just making sure everything works right in this general area. I need to put the back track in for these two industries. You can barely see it back there. The uh, corn syrup will, corn syrup cars will go back there and then coil steel cars will come back this way. So it'll be another spot for operating sessions. Um, hopefully a, a lot of this won't be done. I'm just going to lay tracks uh, for the op session coming up. I just want to make sure my plan for op sessions will work. Uh, coming into this room here, not much has changed, just kind of fiddling around with some ideas. I still need to get the city area done here, but here is my small CP yard. Uh, that one train will start from this yard. As a matter of fact, I got it staged right back here. Uh, he's going to start and go through the room that way. There's another train in the UP yard over on the other side that's going to, uh, well, I'll just walk over here, uh, start from this end on this operating session and go out this way. They will meet somewhere over in this general area. Uh, my plan is to have them both do a lap around the layout and then start their work. Um, we'll see how it works. I just kind of want to get an idea if I can run two trains at once opposite, opposite directions. Uh, I'm thinking not, but I'm gonna give it a good college try, see what happens here. But yeah, that's just a quick uh, layout update. I know it's been a while. Thanks for subscribing. Um, of course, the op session is tentatively set for September 26th. Uh, it's a Saturday. I will be posting videos, hopefully, and for sure some photos on my Facebook page, Hollywood Hills Subdivision. So if you haven't subscribed to Facebook and checked out that link, make sure you do that. And uh, I will be posting photos from the op session, if not some videos of that. So... Once again, thank you for subscribing, and we will talk to you again probably right around the 26th of September.